In Kassila State, following a series of alleged killings of suspected smugglers over the years, the Nigerian Senate has set up an ad hoc committee to immediately investigate the involvement of the Nigerian Customs NCS on the matter. The 11-man committee, headed by Senator Francis Fada Jose, he has six weeks to complete the investigation on the alleged abuse of firearms by customs officers and report back to the Senate. These are some of the resolutions reached on the floor of the Senate after deliberations on a point of order raised by Senator representing Katsina Central, Abdulaziz Yardua. In his presentation, Senator Yardua expressed worry that despite the unprofessional handling of arms by the service, is yet to bring the culprits to book. Nigerian Customs Service is authorized to carry firearms in the course of their duties. This is aimed at assisting the service to effectively counter activities of smugglers who have recently become emboldened in their attack on custom personnel, in many cases using sophisticated weapons. Worried that some officers of the Nigerian Customs Service, who should be civil and professional in their engagements, and handling of firearms have had a series of shootings of innocent citizens. People living around that border, their livelihood is this business. For a very, very long time, when the custom decide to take position of shoot aside, what happened the smugglers went and collaborated with the bandits. So therefore, it's become a kind of clash that happening day in, day out. After the debate, President of the Senate, Gautula Babia, urged the NCS to improve on training of its personnel in handling firearms, especially fire discipline when dealing with Nigerians. I know that in the armed forces, you have to explain where a bullet has gone. I don't know whether that applies to the customs, but the issue is there must be reward and sanctions. For those that have killed or maimed people, there must be consequences. And I believe that this motion even though it's at the moment talking about what the customs did, but it applies to all our security agencies and armed forces. And I believe that the investigation must be thorough and somebody must take responsibility. The same Ali that they were protecting is now, is now haunting them. And automatically, why must you tolerate a military incursion in the custom. Custom to collect revenue and to prevent uh, smuggling. It doesn't need to kill anybody because of rice. It doesn't need to kill anybody because of Tokumbo. But when he kills today and uh, nobody sanctioned him because he asked somebody there, he, he, nobody, he, doesn't respect, he didn't respect anybody here as at that time. It is that corridor that has been a recurring dismal. There hasn't been issues with custom in Lagos, in Ibadan, in, in the east and in the uh, southwest. But the corridor between Kasina, Niger, Kano, a lot of people lost their lives simply because they are suspected of carrying a bag of rice. The Nigerian Senate condemns in totality the killing of innocent citizens just because they are found with bags of rice without any investigation, and that we condemn it in totality. We don't believe in any way that, uh, that a bag of rice on a, motor, uh, a motorcycle is enough to attract a capital punishment. And then I also want to commend my colleagues for your contributions, particularly that of the Air Vice Marshal Napoleon Bali retired. He pointed out that it is also the nature of the arms that they, that are being used by the by the customs that could result in some of these accidental discharges 
that led to various loss of lives. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.